Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. Today's video subject, Will Your Pet Cat Eat You If You Died? Before we begin, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. There are documented cases of cats eating their dead owners. Once the owners have died, they're another carcass. So domestic cats will eat you to avoid starvation. How long the cat waits will depend on its age, size, metabolism, and health. Cats eat the body while it's in the earlier stages of decomposition as it's easier to chew. That topic overview, I could barely get through it. It was something else. Right up there with one of the weirdest ones to date, there's no question about it. It's not even close. So where to begin? Oh my, where to begin? There are so many roads to take when it comes to a topic this zany. I almost said this stupid, but cl close. First, let me say that the topic in question is a popular one. While it's weird, and I personally find it weird, it's a question that a lot of people ponder. So before we jump into anything, just know that I know this is strange, to say the very, very least. Morbid curiosities, we all have them, and it's a common thought, especially for many pet owners, if only thought of and spoken aloud in a joking fashion. Well, would my cat really eat me if I died in my home? Some say yes, some say no. What we do know to be for certain is that it's a very rare occurrence, <laughs> obviously, right? First off, so many things would have to be set in motion for this to even be a possibility. I mean, you're not going to be drafted into the National Football League if you've never played a single down of football in your entire existence. You know, those type of set-in-motion things, you have to do X before Y can even be a possibility, Yeah, just like this topic. While the goal of this video is to keep things as PG, educational, and respectable as possible, I think we all know this scenario that would have to exist. Therefore, there's no sense in really detailing it. I'll just say that you would have to presumably live alone, die in a sudden and unexpected way in your home, and have a cat or cats roaming free in your home. And of course, the biggest factor of all is the aspect of not being discovered for a while. And I'll just leave it right there and leave it at that. So why could this happen? This topic question. It's best to just break it down like this. Cats that live off the land, they eat off the land. Mice, rats, lizards, bugs, you name it. We know this to be true. After all, cat food doesn't grow on trees, it grows in a can. Any <laughs> anyway, cats need meat to survive. In respect to this topic, it's really not about your precious cat and you being the once loving owner. It's really about a cat or cats and meat. This topic is much easier to understand if you think of it from that perspective. Once you pass on, and there is no other food to be had of any sort for your pet to consume, you're essentially just another, well, eh, your meat. No different than a mouse, a rat, a lizard, or a bug. A deceased human will become a food option for a cat if there are no other options, and that's the answer, simply stated. Of course, it should be said that uh, domestic cats are less likely to engage in this type of behavior compared to a feral cat. That's because the cat you love is used to eating cat food and cat treats, and so on, so forth. They'll be less likely to even attempt to consume something else unless, here again, all other options have been exhausted. It should be stated that felines are rarely scavengers. It's all about the catch and the kill. And existing under the notion of a sudden death that the cat had no hand in, they won't really be driven to consume. While feral cats are less fussy when it comes to a meal, for the most obvious reasons, we are, and we need to not forget, talking about an absolute worst-case scenario and a dire food situation for your cat. The popularity, if you will, for this topic all started in part thanks to an unrelated study that was conducted at the Forensic Investigation Research Station 
at Colorado Mesa University. The study concerned the matter of human decomposition, more specifically decomposition when faced with Mother Earth. With cameras in place, researchers faced the task of observing decomposition and how the body responds to the elements. Well, what happened? Hmm. It wasn't long before cameras caught two feral cats. Well, they were, you know, consuming. It was stated in the study that not only did the cats consume, they seemed to pick and choose specific areas of the body and returning numerous times over the course of many days and weeks. And while that study revealed something beyond the actual intent, a theory was placed into motion, and it's certainly a probable one. At any rate, researchers concluded that this type of activity within a home environment would likely occur for the following reasons. Cat was free to roam in the house. The owner was socially isolated and therefore uh, unlikely to be found by others before consumption. And the owner had a sudden death, heart attack, pre-existing condition, etc. Essentially, the scenario I played out earlier in this very presentation. With respect to the home setting, experts in the field have often made the reference to police reports where cat owners had been, let's say, taken advantage of by felines in the home. And here again, out of respect for the audience, I, won't go, I just won't go down that trail too far, although you are more than welcome to search for that branch of information on your own, which I honestly encourage you to do so if this type of content is indeed of interest to you. And before we close things out for this rather unique presentation, and there is <laughs> truly, there is so much more to say, but take home this, this message. This is the, this is the take home message. A, we're going to do some alphabet soup right quick. A, brace yourselves. You will not be consumed by your cat. An elephant will crash through your roof before that will happen. As we stated earlier, there are so many things that would have to occur for this to even be a consideration, let alone a guarantee. B, since we're nothing but flesh, do cats think about eating us now? No, we're not an option of any sort. Until we are deceased and every other option has been exhausted, you love your cat and your cat loves you. Rest easy. Your pet will not be making any dinner plans with you in mind. And C, speaking of rest, do just that. There won't be a sneak attack while you're asleep. Your cat is not wondering whether to have that Frisky's pate or your forearm. That's not really how this goes. In truth, this is only a topic at all because of mere curious speculation. And more people speculate on this than you would probably believe. And so we're here. <laughs> a bit of a different video for us at Senior Cat Wellness, but a topic we've received questions and comments about. And our goal here is to inform and entertain from the most serious to the most curious and everything in between, including whatever this just was. If you would like more information concerning today's subject matter, and believe you me, there is more on this topic, please click the initial link in the description box below and join us at SeniorCatWellness.com. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Well, strike that. Perhaps not this type of content, but you get the point. 99% of the other content. How about that? That's for you. At any rate, we thank you so much for watching, and we will talk to you later.